All right, so last we left off the uh, jQuery UI accordion, um, we, we made a little bit of parallels to the tabs, and really the tabs are very similar, but there's definitely some differences. Well, accordions automatically, jQuery UI would figure out what content needs to go in, and we would facilitate if it didn't. With tabs, it's completely different. We actually tell it explicitly what will be in each tab. So let's see how it's done. And by the way, one of the main reasons is because tabs usually have external content, and it's not content that's baked inside of the page using Ajax. So to do it, basically, let's start off with updating our tabs, our page to title to be tabs, and we're going to delete the accordion. Uh, once we do that, literally, all that we have to do is make sure that we have buckets of information. And in this case, we do. So let's say we want the first layer to be the topic one, and then this topic two and three. So we have an ID because we need to have a way to access it. And lucky for us, we already prepped it that in advance in the accordion section. Now, next step for us is we need to create the menu itself, and the menu itself is created using an unordered list. Once we create that unordered list, that basically, if you again recall from our course on uh, working with menus, well, sorry, the video on menus, you will recall that basically the way a menu is built is literally the exact same way the way you create a menu for the tabs. Now, in the link themselves, because we're referring to internal elements, I'm going to start with a hashtag and then the ID of whatever area that I want to link to, such as topic one. I'll give it also a topic, so I'll give it a title, such as why us. And I'm just going to duplicate this process also a couple of times to the next two items that we have. So we have our topic two and topic three, and I'm just going to grab that our value is number two and fill the information up. And in our last one, our last pitch, we will find that as well and add that into our third step here. And literally, we created everything we need to do from the HTML's perspective to create a completely valid and, and a car alarming in the background is always nice, but hopefully it stopped. Good. All right. So there we go. So we, we basically created our content and we created basically hyperlinks that could take us to those specific elements. Literally, all that's left for us to do is to basically activate it by calling our tabs, just as we've done before with other components. 